Breaking news, we now have response to that meeting between uh, Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi and Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, the Congresswoman just moments ago uh, making some uh, remarks about how that meeting with, went with Nancy Pelosi, saying that, uh, that they are now moving toward a place of respect. Uh, and can we show a little bit of what she just said? Meeting and productive and... Absolutely, absolutely, yeah. You know, I'm looking forward to us continuing our work, and um, as always, I think the the speaker respects, you know, the the fact that we're coming together as a party and that unity. And uh, I'm looking forward to us getting back. Thank you. Did you ask her about um, her attacks on the squad? Hmm. And the door is closed. Did you hear that last question? Yeah, some about the attacks on the squad. Did you ask Nancy Pelosi about her attacks yeah. on the squad and the door no is closed? No response. I, I've seen a good amount of footage of AOC. The door that seemed like that was the most careful she's been with the statement with the press in a long time. So she didn't want to misspeak. She didn't want to misrepresent it. Everything's great. We're coming together as a party. I would, I would have loved to have participate. Just, just look <laughs> so, at what was said in that meeting. So here's my question about all of this, because I, I, I look at this as Nancy Pelosi says everybody's welcome to be different in their perspectives and everything. And then I hear AOC say that we're coming together. Now, it's not that they're mutually exclusive. It's just that that's not how this is played out. Like that, that isn't at all. You and your staff called the Speaker of the House racist. Like, nobody's really talking honestly and transparently about what some of the issues are. And I've always thought that if you don't call it what it is and deal with it, it'll just sit in the corner and fester. Yeah. What well, do you say, Jessica? None of us were in that meeting, so we don't no. know if they talked Carly about the tweets. Carly wanted to be a fly from... on the wall. Wanted right. to be the fly. <laughs> we don't know if She's they talked about the tweets now. from her chief of staff, the use of the word racist or segregationist. We right. have no idea. It's all speculation. Uh, AOC definitely well, some was, of it was being up cautious. On Twitter, so not all of it. Is what happened in the meeting? I'm saying the point is, is that we have a five-week break right now, where everyone will go and they'll work on their priorities and they will message as they need to. But AOC was clearly told who is in charge here and what yeah. we need to win in 2020. But Harris and makes a great point. This fight, if you don't deal with it, and I don't think they can, I don't think this can be resolved because AOC represents this young uh, Democrat that comes out of this, uh, you know, university system. This is who they are. And Nancy Pelosi, she, I think her heart is actually with AOC's policies, but she likes being speaker. She likes the power. She understands that middle America is already very wary of these radicals. And if they proceed with impeachment or many of the other radical ideas that AOC has, they will be punished. And this is the group they were supposed think, to win yeah, over I think this to was, win Donald, to, to win right. in 2020. They've already, Donald Trump has already stolen the working class agenda from the Democrats. I, I, I think and there's no focus that, on that. Charlie, for the Democrats. Uh, AOC plus three. Well, um, the, has stolen the oxygen for the candidates, and yes. they have a Democratic right. debate coming up in three or four the days. Super quick, which, which group, Pelosi's group or the squad, do 2020 candidates need to win over more? Of course it's the squad. Pelosi's That's the question. group. Do you know how That's to count? Um, I mean, well, it's millions of Americans well, are backing maybe, maybe those representatives that won, those moderate Democrats who are part of the new Democrat coalition. But a lot of those are Republicans that voted for Democrats in 2018 or independents. Democrat primary voters vote much more like Presley, Tlaib, Omar, and Cortez. L that, much well, less Joe Biden's doing Pelosi. pretty well. That's he doesn't true. look anything like well, AOC. The polls have agenda. never been wrong this far away from but in, the primary. But in the general, <laughs> Carly's All right. right. We're going to move on. <laughs>